the T-72B2 Rogaka was initially introduced as part of Russia's T-72 modernization program, showcasing advanced features and improvements over its predecessors. And there at the 2006 Russian Arms Expo, the Rogatka promised significant enhancements in firepower, protection, and mobility, aiming to bolster the combat effectiveness of the T-72 platform. However, despite its impressive capabilities, the T-72B2 faced challenges that prevented it from entering serial production. T-72B2 Rogatka was equipped with a new fire control system, including a Sosnaju thermal sight and a new 125mm 2A46M5 main gun. The autoloader was replaced with a model found on the T-90A and allowed for the use of longer, more modern ammunition. A new V92S2 1000 horsepower diesel engine was added. The new Relic 3rd generation explosive reactive armor replaced the Contact 5 on the front of the tank. Unfortunately, this tank does lack the Relic size curves seen on the T72B3, T80BVM, and T90M. Instead, it has three Contact 5 panels on each side, with the remainder of the side and rear armor protected by sled. TSHU-111 laser warning receivers were placed on the turret front. The prototype was shown equipped with the naked Kakamo flash kit for enhancing the survivability of the tank on the battlefield. The naked car, reflecting its purpose of concealing military vigors from detection from enemy sensors, particularly infrared and radar systems. To compensate for the added weight, the T-72B2 received a new 1000 horsepower engine, which is considerably better than the 840 horsepower engine found on the T-72B3. Unfortunately, it still retains the original manual transmission, so its reverse speed could still be poor. Though the T-72B2 isn't as good overall when compared to T-90M and T-80BVM, it would serve as a better backup option for top tier than the T-72B3 and possibly even T-80U due to having laser warning receivers frontal protection compatible to the T-80BVM. One of the primary obstacles encountered by the T-72B2 Rogaka was its high production cost. While the modernization package offered considerable upgrades, the associated expenses rendered it financially prohibitive for widespread adoption. As a result, the Russian military deemed the price that the T-72B2 unjust to fiber for mass production, leading to its serving as a commercially viable option. Despite its threat of not entering serial production, the T-72B2 Rogatka was not without its influence on subsequent modernization efforts. Some of its advanced features and technologies were integrated into the T-72B3 modernization package, ensuring that its developmental legacy lived on. By incorporating elements of the Rogatka in the T-72B3, Russia was able to leverage the research and development invested in the former, optimizing the latter for cost effectiveness and operational efficiency. In conclusion, while the T-72B2 Rogatka 
represented a promising advancement in Russia's T-72 modernization program. Its high production costs ultimately hindered its widespread adoption. However, its legacy endured through the integration of its features into subsequent modernization efforts, demonstrating the iterative nature of military technology development and the importance of cost considerations in defense procurement decisions.